look like a hot mess and my throat is not the same so it is tuesday I just got back from vegas i look tired as hell like what is this hair and i have no makeup on right now but you know what it's okay i realized hey I should probably pick up this camera because my job is to vlog my life. So today, pretty much the goal is to kind of just reset and get back into the swing of things. Yesterday, I was able up to muster up some energy to like write my newsletter and like map out my week. So I'm feeling ready to go. But then I just like could not wake up this morning because I just feel extra tired. Like for people who go to Vegas and they are, I don't know, I just, I cannot. But anyways, we are back. We are getting in the swing of things. Yes, I did not start the day off the way I wanted to, but it is okay, we're gonna adjust. And that is why I also like using Google calendars because if things need to shift, it's okay. And I don't need to see the visual like crossings out and all that stuff. Like I can just move it on my calendar, which is nice. So yeah, not exactly sure what's gonna be happening in this vlog, but this week is a big reset week. I'm gonna take you along with me as I just get my life back together. Also, I love listening to lo-fi when I work. And then now there's this version of the lo-fi on YouTube where it has the like Pomodoro method. So it'll like have the 25 minute study sessions with a timer. And then once that 25 minutes is up, it'll give you a five minute timer for the break, which is really cool. And then you get this little cute guy in the background and like some lo-fi music. So for anyone else who likes using the Pomodoro method and also likes working to lo-fi, I'll link this channel down below in case you're interested. Hey guys, checking in here. I look hot. I look horrible. Lighting's off. I look a wreck. My voice is all scraggly because I did my first VO video and I used my mic for the first time and just recorded over and over. It is 3:40. I just finished the cut and I freaking love it so much. Worth it. I guess tonight's an all-nighter, but. Honestly, I think it's gonna be worth it because I'm freaking in love with this video. Tomorrow will definitely be a coffee day. At this point, I'm just wondering, do I even sleep? Do I just stay up the entire night and then just get coffee? I guess we'll see. Hey, whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, let me tell you about last night. <laughs> okay, I am not a big promoter about staying up late, doing work, grinding until you're dead but i feel like so okay well anyways there's construction but what i was trying to say was that man my sleep is all off i stayed up so late last night actually pretty much stayed up all night because i went to sleep at 7 a.m because i was trying a new video style i recorded vo for the first time which if you guys saw how I recorded that VO to make sure that there was no other sound around me, next time maybe I'll show you, but it was a little ridiculous. Anyways, finding all those clips took forever and a lot more time than I expected. And then on top of that, YouTube Studio just wasn't working. Like it was having me upload like 5,000 times and my thumbnails weren't loading. So I like waited till seven and then I went on the site and apparently it was down for everyone. So I just went to sleep and I just uploaded my video a little bit later because that's just life sometimes. Anyways, we need to go grocery shopping. Fall items are back at Trader Joe's. I got two things. So I got my all time favorite, the pumpkin bagel. And the second thing I got that was not on the list was a new item from Trader Joe's this season, which is the pumpkin tortilla chips. Also, this chain that I'm wearing, thanks Mia. It's a key sunglass chain actually that can be turned into a mask chain. It's really convenient. You can put your mask on like this and then it just hangs like this and it's real cute. So yeah, but yes, anyways, back to the food. So I got the pumpkin tortilla chips because it was like crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon and nutmeg. I don't like when things are too sweet, so I really hope that it's just like a light, light sprinkle of this stuff, but we'll see. All right, let's try this. It looks to be like a, just a regular, it's a regular little chippo. All right. Mm. 
Like if you're expecting super pumpkin, you're not gonna get it here. Like if anything, this is more just like a tortilla chip with like light fall flavored seasonings on it. everyone it is Friday and man I have just been heads down working at home so I haven't really been filming too much this week I don't feel like but because I've been working at home all week I just kind of feel like I need a change of scenery but I still have work to do so I think what I'm gonna do is just head over to my mom's place work from there for a little bit get some laundry done while I'm there and you know since I'm gonna see her and it's a Friday I'm gonna stop by Pete's and pick up a little treat for the both of us all right well let's go Just grabbed some pizza and now I'm gonna head over to my mom's to film a little bit and do some work. I'm really liking all the fall decorations and everything happening at Pete's. I guess I'm just gonna embrace it at this point. Fall is here and you know what? F it, I'm here for it. <laughs> Brought some pumpkin bagels for my mom to try as well. Recording setup for earlier. I'm recording this now so that I remember where I started. This is where we started, yo. We are only gonna go up from here. So uh, today is Sunday. I'm hanging out with my mom and Randall right now. They just went inside to get something really quick, but basically we're out here in the Costa Mesa area. Yeah, I am just very tired today because I stayed up late last night editing a video and now my parents are back. So yeah, take you with me. These are so cute. Oh, these are cute. Hi, Mom. Hi, Remy. <laughs> I'm gonna get the grilled wild swordfish yeah, tacos. Fish good. And then a pinot grigio. So this is the infamous bread that this one can't stop talking about. It is delicious and it's nice and warm. What, what's so special about this? It's just really good. It is good. Though. Two little Kumamoto oysters. Got some swordfish tacos with guac. Randall got fish and chips, per use, and then sand. Sand dan. Sand dan. Look pretty good. on here and just check in with you guys say hello I feel like this vlog is or has been just really random and I'm sorry about that guys I feel like the past couple of weeks have just been a lot of me just resetting and reevaluating you know how to run my business efficiently again um, I feel like you know I had a really good flow and a work 
process and all of that down but then once august hit i really had to readjust how i was working to fit you know all these major life events that were happening and so yeah now that i'm back from all of that i just wanted to take a minute to kind of reset and kind of reevaluate okay now that we're back how do we make running this business as efficient as possible? And so last night I actually took the time to really map out what October looks like. And I'm really excited for all the upcoming videos and stuff. You know, with vlogging, I'm still learning and growing and my videos are just gonna keep getting better and better. So thank you guys for bearing with me as I learn how to hold a camera you know study and i learn how to get better lighting like even this i know the lighting is not the best but you got to work with what you got and i feel like for me right now it's just continuing to take action and being okay with imperfection right now because i know that i'm gonna get better so yeah anyways i promise you guys the videos will only keep getting better and i just thank you guys for being here all right well i will see you guys next time bye what?